Welcome back to Airborne. Today we're going to be making a Damascus chef knife. So I got a good friend that likes to cook but does not have a Damascus knife. And here at Airborne we believe that everybody deserves a Damascus knife. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here we got a stack of some 1084 and 1520, a pretty typical Damascus layout for us. But stacking these will get us that contrast between the high nickel shiny stuff and the high carbon. Uh, dark stuff and just as a note for prep when you buy steel from the manufacturer There still might be some scale uh, and possibly some rust on it So we knock it off really quickly with the flap disc uh, We found that the flap disc is a lot easier just for conforming to the surface and knocking it out Instead of holding it up to a sander and creating divots. So we're gonna get these prepped up and stacked up and welded So that was our first press, and it seems like it went pretty well. We're gonna keep pressing it in that same vertical direction. Uh, then we'll draw it out a little bit later so we can twist it. Okay, I've got it forged out. This one's 11 layers thick. So we're gonna grind it off and restack it five times uh, to get it to our final layer count of 55. Okay, here she is ground up. Now we marked it in three inch sections. Stack these five times after we get them cut in the bandsaw. Alrighty, we just had some successful forge welding. Uh, we took the billet up to about 55 layers of that stacked 15N20 and 1084. Now we have a round billet. We're gonna give it a twist to give it that cool looking pattern. twist came out beautifully. I'm really happy with it. So now we're going to start forging it into a knife. Okay, forging's complete. Uh, that looks good enough for us to grind a knife out of. So off to the grinding room. So here's where we're at with grinding. Uh, it's about 160 thousandths thick. We left a little bit on there. 
uh, extra, so now we're going to quench it. Here she is after a little bit of temper in the oven. It's looking real nice, that pattern's pretty cool. So we're gonna put it back on the grinder and get it to our finished uh, dimension, then go from there. Alrighty, at this point, I have both sides ground flat and the profile in, so we're gonna set our bevels now. A few hours later and all the rough bevels are set, uh, we're going to come back again tomorrow and get all those bevels smoothed out all the way up to uh, 600 grit and go from there. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but as we progress in grits, uh, that finish just gets finer and finer uh, until we worked our way up to a 400 grit finish uh, by the belt sander. So next we're going to take this to 600 grit by hand and then the blade portion of the knife will be ready for an acid etch in order to show off that cool Damascus pattern. But before we do that, we have quite a bit of work to do on the handle. Finally, hand sanding's done, thankfully. Uh, now it's time for some handle work. So here's our rough handle profile. This is based off of a knife that my great grandfather used to use back when he was a, a head chef. So yeah, we're gonna go for it. Alrighty, our knife is cleaned up and prepped, ready for the acid. We're about to see what this Damascus looks like in a little bit. So out of the acid, here it is. Uh, so far I'm really happy with the pattern. We're going to do a coffee soak to get the uh, high carbon to get a little bit darker. Keep that high nickel nice and bright and shiny. Then uh, see what she looks like after that. So after a little while in the instant coffee, here's what we're left with. Really cool pattern. Really, really neat. You can see the twists. Uh, there's a couple of dark marks. They almost look blue at a certain angle. Uh, and that's just the larger nickel spots. Got a little bit of dark splotches. And then the other side, quite a bit more. Um, but we're gonna live with it. I, I think it's really cool and unique. And I know it all starts to wear differently after you use it over time, but very pleased with it. Uh, we're gonna finish up the handle and see what this thing looks like.
After quite some time working on this thing, it is finally finished. Um, really, really stoked with how it came out. She still needs an edge. Um, it's not a proper edge, it's sharp, but put that on there and uh, yeah, she's done. So if you enjoyed this, we'll have a lot more projects going on. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Two of them.